Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Nuramek and welcome back to more Shenmue 3. Last time we found Yuan's photo at the ferry terminal with some Buddha statues in the background. So this time, we're going to go to some shops that sell those exact statues. Just a reminder before we get into it, if you do end up enjoying, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And... That isn't the place. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure the game wants me to think that is the place. But... I've got, a, uh, I've got a pair of eyes on me, and I think I know where we've got to head, because I had a little walk around before I started recording. As you can see, the time's changed slightly. Uh, but no, nah, nothing's really down near the hotel, uh, as you can see here. It's, it's like a little stall in like a bricked area, and if you look at the ground here, mm-hmm, you know, detective work. Of course, we've got to walk through here, because it's a shrine. But, hello oh, there, Mr. Lucky Hit Stand person. So we should be able to find something around here, I'd hope. See, these are some souls. I just, uh, hopefully, my intuition's right. But okay, right. We might as well do just that. Is there someone in here? Because this looks pretty, pretty relevant. Oh, ah, I guess she's a phantom. A uh, lady, please. I would beg. No. Do you know of this shop? They sell gaudy, tasteless statues there. Is that right? I may have nothing but stone statues, but all of them house spirits. Could I interest you in one? Sorry, but I'm not here to shop. Do you know where I can find the shop in this picture? If I'm not mistaken. It was in the direction of Bender Avenue. Okay. Bender Avenue. To get there, keep going down this road and go right at the Mooncake Stand. Okay. Okay. See, I was onto something then. So I guess that means we're allowed to just uh, keep on moving then. Not half bad. Oh, Cutscene time though. Got before. Are you all right? I'm fine. She's going to be important later. Um, so should we should we speak to her? She seems Okay, we Feng. Hmm, that one to keep an eye out for. So this is Bender Avenue. Alright, this definitely feels like the place. Ah, but where to start? Oh, I think, in true Shenmue fashion, running around aimlessly is 100% what we should do. Oh? Okay, this sounds similar, but no, I'm pretty sure this is entirely new music. I don't think that's the right way to go, but... Yeah, just doing a little skim. Uh, bargain Buddha. It had like that little red overhang, so if we keep an eye out, we should be fine. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very one track looking for the store because I feel as though. I'll talk to the folks around here a little more. But they're gonna save the things up ahead because they haven't seen the shop. Dom. I mean, look. You know, fine. I guess what? We'll ask. <laughs> bargain Buddha. Yeah, it doesn't seem there's any statue shops around here, so this is really the closest we can get to. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, are we speaking like the, the spirit of the st- <laughs> Right. Pardon me. Hi. Oh. Welcome to the home of the best Buddhist fittings in Niaru. They're all made of wood. Right, that- <laughs> Maybe this isn't the right shop. Are you in the market for a statue? Not exactly. Okay. So you real knows what's up. I'm looking for this motor shop. Ah, this one. I'm pretty sure it's down past Bender Avenue. I see. We're the biggest one running, but there are lots of little ones down there too. Okay, great. Many thanks. Down past Vendor Avenue, so could this be down here? Hmm, pretty sure that's a, <laughs> that's a knockoff version of the Mona Lisa. 
<laughs> okay. Um, so is it down here? No, this is cornered off. But, hey, hey. More stalls. What have we got going on here? And red roof stall is what walking out for mainly. So, mmm. Here we go. A child. Rehob sounds so dumb. So he just leaves his, like, kid to run the shop in the day? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, one thing that I... You know, I, I shouldn't comment on uh, on Chinese tradition. I'm sure that's just completely normal. Uh, although, let's have a little bit of an explore before we decide to wait until 8. Hey, that rhymes. See, I see grass patches and I immediately think, oh, herbs. Okay, you know, they were actually a decent source of income for me back in Bailey Village, so I would very much like to get some. Uh, just on side, I, I don't like fast forwarding straight to events. I like to I like to go the road less taken, which is not fast traveling constantly. And besides, th this technically counts as money, you know. Count yourselves lucky. If we didn't do this, we'd have like an episode of smashing wood. And I'm sure absolutely none of you want that, so. Oh? Okay. Yeah, you know, I was starting to dig that music, and then it just had to fade away. Ooh. See, I have a feeling we'll be coming here later in the story anyway, but. Ooh. Also, Rio's endurance, man. I've just realized this. I just want to listen to the cool music. Um, now his endurance has been doing all this, like, wonders this episode. You know, normally we'd have to stop every so often and eat something, but no, it's uh, it's been pretty uh, pretty good on the whole, which I, I ain't complaining about. I, I assume all that training we did off camera has actually come in handy, which I'm really happy about. I assume he's going to say the same thing here, yep. So that just leaves here to scour for herbs. You know, again, it's, it's just a little bit of a kickback financially, so we don't have to worry too much. And I'd rather not have to fall back on my, uh, my show me two ways of uh, save and reload until I win at gambling, so. Hey, you know, I'm happy that I can make some legit money and it's, like, set in stone and it doesn't take 20 minute blocks at a time. Uh, so, I think we'll grab this. Is this, uh, licorice, the old reliable? And I think... See, the completionist in me is saying, uh, <laughs> to, you know, just flat out get every herb around here now, but I'm scared it'll go on for a little bit too long. But I think we've got a decent amount here. There's also, there's also no music. It's awkward. Um, so if we just fast travel to Buddha shop. Again, can't get over that fact that we use this child from the shop in the day, like, no offense, but if someone steals one of those without paying, but well, yeah, of course they wouldn't pay. They'd be stealing. Well, like, surely the child doesn't have, like, you know, an industrial taser, let alone know how to use it. He looks like he's five. Ah, the shop logic in this game is just... Tut tut. Yes. Oh, I like how this place looks. Take a look at this photo. That's my shop in the background. What is this? Do you recall seeing this man? Yeah, he was with some thugs. What thugs? Tell me what you know about these thugs. Interesting. I don't know if it's these thugs or not, but they're extorting shops on the promenade. Seriously? They shake down women and meek shopkeepers for money. So they're on the promenade. Thank you very much. Perhaps I should return to the hotel. See? No, don't force me back. Look, <laughs> that, that street looks really nice. I just want you to explore. Ah, uh, okay. Well, hotel me out, but at least we get to listen to the nice music before we talk in for the night. And that is around the halfway part of this episode. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. Someone in Bender Avenue saw Mr. Yuan. Huh? He was being taken somewhere by thugs. Where to? I don't know yet. Okay. Tell me, have you got anything, Shenhua? Not a single clue. That's a shame. I mean... Let's continue asking around tomorrow. Hmm. We're bound to find something. Yes. Right. 
well. Leon, I'm going to go back to the room. Okay. I mean, it is a good movie. Who wouldn't? Anyway, I did cut scene of her going up the stairs. I really need to see that, you Suzuki. Anyway, uh, well, last time we were here, I got carried away using phone calls, so I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is head straight to the room. Actually, um, for those of you who didn't know, it's a two or one, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, uh, no, there was. Worth anything if I don't eat. <laughs> Too bad I wake up with a fully charged stomach. No, but in the outtakes episode, right? Ah, she's out on the balcony. No, but on the outtakes episode, I tried to get a. Uh... I see the vending machines on the bottom floor at the end of the hall. I tried to get one of them. There's no animation of Rio drinking them. Like, he gets to, like, any other food where it just is added to his inventory and it disappears. It's like, no! I really, I really wanted to see him drink that can in, like, a glorious 30-second cutscene. And I'm absolutely gutted that of all the things that didn't make the cut. <laughs> like, you can take your, um, your dithery stone for whatever, right? I don't care about that. Can, can double the amount of them in the game for all I care. But removing my 30 second cutscene of me eating an apple, not an apple, drinking a Pepsi. Unfor unforgivable. <laughs> Dick. Uh, okay, that, that's a cool Easter egg actually. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, or maybe you, or you need a refresher, in the first Shemu game there's five Americans, and I guess. Yeah, that, 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 that's actually pretty sweet that. I didn't know that. They let you know their names too. Maybe all the other ways to find their names, that was, um, I don't think it was any dialogue, I think it was just uh, on Shemu Passport you could find that. Which ha has been now discontinued, so, GG. Hey, you. Yes? You need to pay for your room tonight. Don't tell me you don't have any cash. No, I do. Oh, <laughs> I, like, I like how it's pocket change now. You, know, you can have all my money, she, she is lovely. You know, can, you, can she accompany me instead of Shenhua, please? Morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Did you? Yes, I did. Good. I'm going to head out then. Okay. Take care. You too. No. I like watching their interactions. It's it's a shame. It's a shame that she doesn't wake him up in the morning anymore. But I kind of get why she can't. Anyway, uh, promenade. Ooh, that's a big field full of herbs. Okay, nope. I must remain focused. No, oh, the rain does look really nice today. Uh, this is the promenade, isn't it? So, let's see what's in the notebook. Promenade shops. This is the promenade, isn't it? How many times can I say promenade in this minute-long space? Oh, I'm sorry. Rose Garden. Is that a nightclub? Ooh. I feel like I've just stumbled into, like... Heartbeats Bar for the first time, right? That might sound weird, but like, I have a... I've missed this. What? What is this? I, I feel as though I shouldn't be here. But, hey, maybe I can ask around in here. You know, I'm sure there'll be a kind fellow. Um, is, is this just like one big circle? Is this like the, the Mario staircase? What is... What is this? Is this... Hey. What? What, what have I stumbled into? I, I feel as though I've got horribly off track. <laughs> Welcome to Niawu's largest fighting arena, the Rose Garden! I honestly expected this to be, Anyone like, a gank den. So gambling. Oh, that does sound appealing. Look, I've trained enough. I reckon I could beat them. Well, fine. That's nothing. I'll give it a shot. 
Okay, it pays rent for a few days, so. I mean, we watched the whole cutscene, we've stumbled into here, we might as well. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I suppose we need to find Shenhua's dad and whatnot, but. Our f first Duan. It looks like you do know a little about fighting. A little. So what, I'm just gonna tornado kick you until you fall over, is that okay? Oh god, actually, I'm really out of practice with the fighting engine because it's been a week or two. And I pre recorded the last episode! Hey, fella! Okay, and. Um... Nope! Look at that tornado kick. You're stronger than I thought, kid. Here, this is for you. I'm stronger than I thought too. Watch out! The master of footwork is here. It's Taekwondo champion Lee Sun Duk. One look at those magnificent moves, and it's straight to heaven. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that. Pretty sure my brain just disconnected and reconnected too. Now I think I'll back out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Net fight starts at 9.30. Yeah, 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 okay. Well, eh, nah, I don't think it's a... I don't think it's a wise decision to uh, do this for too long, but... Oh! Oh, okay, they've got a food... St That's actually a nice attention to detail. They've got a food stall. So if you get your ass beat, you can actually, uh... Whatchamacallit? Like, regenerate your health easily? I can get down with that. That's actually, like, a cool idea. Anyway, um, yeah, so that was the Rose Garden. Um, <laughs> I honestly expected this place to be Gangnam because of how it looks. Like, I was getting serious Heartbeats vibes, but I guess not. Yeah, it's hidden away, too. Oh, well. And with that, it brings us around minute 18, so I guess we'll just ask around a little bit before we wrap this one up. Okay, those two look like they're a bit busy, so maybe not anybody in here worth. Okay, well, I'm sorry, like, I'm, you know, all the game and all, but why is everyone leaving their shop unattended? Which. Ah. <laughs> uh... Yes, yes, come in. I'll give you a good deal on some fresh vegetables. Actually, I just have a question. Well, what is it? I'd like to ask you about some thugs. Oh no, I don't want to hear about the red snakes. The red snakes? That's what they call themselves. Hmm, suits them well. They're violent and sneaky. What happened? They specifically prey on dainty girls, like me. Dainty? Did you say something? <laughs> Rio! <laughs> They destroy our shops if we don't pay them. What a bunch of bullies. And? They haven't come here recently. Which probably means they're picking on someone else. Okay, thanks. Right. Well, I think on that note, how are we going to find who else they're picking on? Ah, uh, doesn't sound like they'd know. So I think I want this one here, a little bit short. Yeah, it seems like things are starting to get a little bit interesting, and I'm excited to see where things will go. Of course, it rained this time, and oh, <laughs> this place looks great. But yeah, if you have ended up enjoying this one, then be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm personally enjoying this, like, a whole bunch, and hopefully you are too. And I think that's pretty much everything said and done. So with all said, all that aside, hope you've enjoyed, and thanks for watching, guys. My name's Vinoramic, and peace out.